The surface seal coating system was developed by PPG to enhance pilot vision during rain conditions. The system features a durable, transparent, water-repellent coating, which promotes efficient rain removal from aircraft windshields. Windshields should be assessed for when reapplication is needed. Water sheeting is unacceptable, and reapplication of surface seal is required. Water which beads only is acceptable, but windows should be scheduled for maintenance. Water which has water running down in streaks is like new. Before you begin the application process, make sure that you have easy access to the aircraft windshield with kit contents available at hand. The environment must be roof protected or outside with good weather available for the expected duration of the coating application. Ambient temperature should be between 40 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 to 32 degrees Celsius. Good lighting must be available for inspection of work in process. The windshield should not be hot to the touch and should be out of direct sunlight. Make certain that the sander is fully charged before you begin. All of the materials you'll need for the application process are contained in the master kit, with the exception of an approved glass cleaner. Read all of the health and safety information provided on the material safety data sheets packaged with each kit. Be sure to wear the disposable gloves included in the kit during each of the chemical applications and cleanup steps. It's also a good idea to wear safety glasses during the entire application procedure, even though they aren't included in the master kit. The first step in the surface seal application process is to thoroughly wash the window with an approved glass cleaner and wipe it dry with Kim wipes from the master kit. Next, take the 2-inch tape from the master kit and apply it to the windshield periphery. Overlap the moisture seal and press it down onto the windshield retainer or aircraft structure. Be sure that the masking tape is completely pressed down into place to prevent any chemicals from wicking into the aircraft structure. Next, remove the bottle of polishing slurry from the master kit. Remove the felt pad from the plastic bag inside the box labeled Kit A in the master kit and attach it to the fully charged sander. Remember that the PPG supplied sander is the only one approved for this process. Make no substitutions. Shake the polishing slurry and apply about 20 milliliters of the liquid to the felt pad. Then, lightly set the sander onto the windshield and turn it on. Light pressure is sufficient to keep the sander flat against the surface. Use overlapping strokes and cover the entire surface of the glass evenly. Be sure to add additional slurry to keep the felt pad moistened throughout the process. Now, remove the bottle of deionized water from the master kit and several Kim wipes. Wash and dry the windshield thoroughly to remove all traces of the polishing slurry and continue wiping the windshield until the glass is completely dry. Mist the dried, clean surface with deionized water and test for a water break-free state, where water sheets and completely wets the surface. If beads of water are present, resume polishing until a water break-free state is obtained. Dry the windshield thoroughly before continuing the procedure. Whenever possible, the process should not be interrupted after the polishing slurry operation. No more than 15 minutes should elapse from the completion of the polishing slurry operation until the application of surface prep and coating solution. If it is unavoidable to delay the applications, when resuming the process, re-clean with deionized water and Kim wipes. The next step in this process is the application of the surface prep chemical. This material is corrosive to the aircraft structure and may damage the paint. Before proceeding, make sure the tape masking is completely pressed down to prevent chemicals from wicking into the structure. Put on a new pair of gloves and remove the surface prep ampule from kit A and several gauze pads from the master kit. Ensure the ampule is not broken. Hold the ampule in your hand and press against the sponge tip end with your thumb until the ampule snaps. Cut off the corner of the plastic tubing at the top of the ampule. Do not cut the foam filter. Hold the ampule away from the aircraft and dampen the pads with a small amount of surface prep solution, turning the pads so as to not drip significantly. Immediately begin wiping quickly over the center portion of the glass surface with slightly overlapping straight line strokes. 
To prevent contamination of the center glass surfaces with residue from the taped edges, wipe in the center and wipe toward the edges. Stop each wiping pass just short of the taped edge. Work at a moderate speed. Do not allow thick films of liquid to accumulate on the windshield. Apply additional surface prep to the applicator as needed to completely cover the windshield. After thoroughly wiping the center area, wipe around the edges, then discard the pads. Allow the windshield to completely air dry for a minimum of five minutes. After the entire windshield has been covered, repeat the application process using the remaining fluid and new gauze pads. Allow the windshield to completely air dry for a minimum of five minutes. Put on clean disposable gloves and remove the surface seal coating solution ampule from kit A and gauze pads from the master kit. Visually inspect the surface seal coating solution ampule to make sure it is not broken. Similar to the previously explained technique for opening the single ampule, break both ampules and tilt the package to let the liquid go into the plastic surround packaging. Shake to mix for two to five minutes. Cut off the corner of the plastic tubing at the top of the ampule. Do not cut the foam filter. Hold the ampule away from the aircraft and dampen the pads with a small amount of surface seal coating, turning the pads so as to not drip significantly. Begin in the critical vision areas and work toward the outer edges of the windshield. To prevent contamination of the center glass surfaces with residue from the taped edges, wipe in the center and wipe toward the edges. Stop each wiping pass just short of the taped edge. Apply additional coating to the gauze as needed to completely cover the windshield. After thoroughly wiping the center area, wipe around edges. Allow the windshield to completely air dry for a minimum of five minutes. After the entire windshield has been covered, repeat the application process using the remaining fluid and new gauze pads. Allow the windshield to completely air dry for a minimum of five minutes. The next step in the application process enhances the durability of the coating. Carefully place a sheet of protective film over the windshield. Be sure to line up all the edges. Then tape the film to the windshield retainer or aircraft structure at each corner of the film with short strips of two inch tape. Next, apply the heat blanket to the surface of the windshield and anchor it securely in place using two inch tape. Then, plug the blanket into the appropriate voltage power source. The temperature of each heat blanket has been preset. For best performance, a minimum of two hours heat cure is required. After a minimum of two hours, unplug the blanket and allow it to cool down to near ambient temperature. Remove the tape, blanket, and protective film. The coating application process is now complete. For more information, please visit us at ppgaerospace.com.